see you, Texas. Here we are, Limit Fishing World Headquarters. Might be a little loud, there's a big crazy guy. Look at him, he's going crazy. What's going on, buddy? Thank you, Billy. Really good to see you, bud. For y'all, good brother. For those that don't know, that's Adam Elkins. That's my my guy at Limit Fishing. Hey guys, how everybody doing today? Glad you up here, man. Good to see you. Yeah, Bubba. How was yeah. your trip? It was great. It was great. Yep, got my new Limit hoodie. Look at this. Had to wear the colors when you come to the World Headquarters. That's right. right. That's right. Yes, indeed. So they've got this big giant thing here. Huge shop. They got see a couple boats over there. So you guys sell a little bit of everything, don't you? Yeah, we uh, we've kind of you know we've only been out officially you know March will be a year, so we're still under our first year. So uh, you know we've joined with Make Weight Boats here in out, uh, Van Buren, Arkansas, on uh, 4806 Alma Highway. We sell Skeeter boats, G3 boats, and then you know all of a plethora of tackle from uh, Gambler baits to uh, Zorro to uh, River to Sea to uh, Limit stuff, of course, uh, just all different kinds of Strike King. Just you know, all different kinds of baits here, and then we have uh, new uh, facilities building out back, and then we have our old warehouse uh, in the Van Buren Industrial Park where we do our storage and a lot of other stuff. And then we have another manufacturing facility overseas as well. So. Very nice. Well, I know me and you, we're going to talk about some lures yeah. for next year. So yeah. me and Adam are going to get in the office. We're going to talk yeah. a little bit about some of the lures we're going to work on for next year, and then I'm going to I'm going to leave here with some goodies. I know. Yeah. We'll grab. I know I got to get a couple more limit rods. And we're going to get some reels. We're going. We're going to go in fine fashion. Uh, and also a new bait with uh, Lake Fork. I don't have one right here right now, but uh, we've got a new swim bait. So uh, I yeah. think you've seen it. You threw it in the pool, I believe. Uh -huh. I see some pictures. <laughs> yeah, we got some new uh, stand-up jigs, you know, like oh. the flathead jig. Yeah, you talking about the turbo tail deal? Oh, the, the Jordan? Uh, that yeah, that one for Lake Fork. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, I actually fished that one and actually... Did I'm pretty you? sure I caught the first fish ever on it. You would have. The day after I had it, I, I was filming with Zach Hughes and caught caught a couple of fish on it. Caught one pretty good one on it. So. Well, you know, and it's 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 not a, you know, it, it, it's it, it's a good concept. Basically, what it is, it's you know, you've got your swivel in, in the middle of, yeah. of of a swim bait. It's kind of we got one of these prototypes laying here. So this is another. Y'all don't tell anybody y'all saw this. <laughs> That's right. It's yeah. top secret stuff here. But that kind of tail, but a little bit longer version of it. With the actual swim bait. On a swim bait. With, with, with Ronnie's swim bait tail. Right. You know, so it's basically taking taking the swim bait, putting it in two different pieces, and having the swivel. It's taking the live magic shad and putting the, the, the swivel tail on there. And guys, I'm going to tell you, there is not a swim bait that will swim at a slower speed than that. That thing. The fall rate. At a crawl will still just. Yeah, it's and, awesome. And that's the thing I use it a lot. You know, I fish 10 killer, you know, being out, you know, my home base is here in Alma, Arkansas. So I go to 10 killer a lot and skip it under docks. And that slow fall rate when those bass are transitioned up under those docks in the hot weather mm. or any you know even in the winter you know that slow fall rate that's giving that action it's a really good bait for that you got multiple sizes so you know it works good you just put a swim bait hook in it and uh yeah. you know it's uh it, it, it'll be a good bait it's something you hadn't seen but it's a simple concept and it's the same with a lot of bass fish and a lot of bass lures. some of the best bass lures are simple concepts well i know we're going to do a couple things uh we'll let you guys get a couple sneak peeks into the conversation here but we're actually going to talk about developing some lures that I've been wanting to, some stuff that I've taken, lures that are on the market, and I've tweaked, and and, I want, and you guys are going to make those for me. That's right. To where I actually have a, a, a lure that's made, ready to go out of the package the way I like it. I don't have to make any adjustments. And then we're going to offer that for sale to all of you guys through both my website, his website, and here. And at, dealers. At the, yeah, and dealers. We're going to put it everywhere. So it'll get out there, uh, but it'll be something that's, been tested over many years and tweaked and adjusted by me and stuff that I can kind of put my stamp on and say, hey, this is God's select how I That's fish right. it just like this. So I'm pretty excited. So um, I know we're going to do a spinner bait. So we talked about the spinner bait. Yep. Then we made the adjustment on the bigger blade. The bigger uh, blade for the slower fall. Right. So some of the colors, key color. Roll. So we're going to do that one. We've talked about that one on the phone and then, and we, we've kind of got that one lined out now. Now jigs, we got to talk about jigs because I, I want to do some jig skirt colors, and but I'm Pretty particular on the head design, so uh, the heavy cover style jig. Yeah, for the flipping jig, for for what we're talking about on Lake Fork, flipping creek channel, flipping trees, flipping bushes, all that stuff. 
Uh, I want it to be with us, but more over than that, I want it to hook the fish right. Yeah. right. You're, you don't want too long of a shank hook, but you want a strong hook. Stout hook, at, right. You know, depending on if we're looking at, you know, from uh, some of the notes I took from our conversations before, you know, a, a three or four aught and a quarter ounce, and then, you know, when we hit to that half ounce, we're going to a five aught hook, but yeah. we don't want too long of a shank, but we want a heavy hook that something's not going to break, something that you're yep. going to be able to penetrate good, a good sharp hook. So limit this year, we've got our own line of hooks coming out that'll be out after January. Uh, really sharp, they're kind of like doing one that, you know, like the JDM hooks. Um, JDM is uh, the Japanese style Japanese, design. Japanese domestic market is yeah. actually what yeah. uh, JDM stands for. And anybody that knows bass fishing knows that the Japanese folks they make some really good. Yeah, and, so. and and that's what you know we're tailoring our stuff to is JDM type type base, but for American market pricing. You know, you want one strong enough; it's not going to straighten out every time. And that's I mean that was one of the things that Todd told me at first when we were developing his buzz bait. No, but they, he said fifty five gauge, fifty five thousand gauge wire. I was like, man, that's that's kind of thick. You know, is that really something, you know, because, I, I mean, I've thrown some of the lighter ones like the Zell Rollins, uh, Pipsqueak, and stuff like that over the years, and I kind of like that lighter wire. And, you know, we got them in, you know, and we tested and tested it, and I was like, okay, you know, it, it seems really pretty good. Well, we got the final version, and I threw it, and it comes up on water so quick. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sink very fast. You think I have your wire, it's going to sink, but it comes up, cavitates so quick. And uh, and you guys look at the video on that. Uh, limit fishing products a video that we did a few weeks ago and it's the loudest buzz bait I've ever thrown kind of like that one you was talking about years mm -hmm. ago it's yeah, loud as that one, yeah. and I showed you the video uh, uh, a while back but uh, you know it's one of those things you know gauge of wire is important he said you know the reason I want that is because for skipping our docks it won't fold up if I catch a bigger fish it's not going to fold up it's going to be right. it, 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 it's going to last and sure enough it, you know it's he knew what he's talking about. So you guys that fish every day, I'm not going to question you guys anymore because you know you know what right. you're talking about. And that's why we try to surround ourselves with you know with guys that, that do it every day, and know what they're talking about. Yeah, and Todd Otten's FLW Pro that works with women fishing as well. I can't wait. I know there's going to be some time in the near future where me and him are going to get together. Can't wait for that. That's going to be a good time. But either way, check out LimitFishingProducts.com. A lot of opportunities, and like I said, one thing is you know if, if, if even the smaller companies out there. You know, give us a call if it's something you're interested. You can give me a call. Uh, call us about manufacturing for you, anything like that. We have a lot of capabilities, and we do it for a lot of other companies and even companies I haven't mentioned today. Awesome deal, brother. Thanks for sitting down and doing this. Thanks for helping me out on some of this lure design stuff. I know we're going to do some big things. I'm gonna get out here. We I got to get me some rods. Yeah, we're gonna get you some. Uh, we're gonna get you some of the new heavy branded crappie rods. I showed you those. Yep. We got a new uh, elite crappie rod, which is a 30 30 ton. A nanocarbon crappie rod with titanium guides and all that. Mm -hmm. and, but the key is, a lot of people say that you scare people off because they think, oh, that's, uh, you know, like some of the other brands that are 150 160 dollars this rod, you know, you're looking at for titanium guides, eight, six, seven foot, 10 foot, you're looking at, you know, $80 price range. $80 with titanium. <laughs> price range. And grade A cork. Made so. from the same materials that the top end is made from, but we're going to cost about half the price. Yeah, exactly. And that's and what you guys are becoming known for. You know that, right? Well, that's, that's kind of what you do, bringing value. And that's what I always want to do. Look, that's a shirt. I'm going to steal that before I leave here. I need to get a couple more seven foot heavies. Seven foot heavy. need, need two seven heavies and two seven four heavies is what I need. Look at there. There you go. Oh. Uh -huh. So now, we've got, got we've got one extra reel laying around, but I need to get three reels from you. Let's do 7.3. 7.3 yeah. on all three is fine with me. Okay. Hold it all in there. Uh, yeah, I'll do it up. Now, that shirt that's sitting in there on your desk, does it look like that? Uh, I think it's it's either that one or that one. One of the two. One, one of the two. two. Yeah, one of those two. We got some, man. We Adam's over there. Okay, I'm looking at mine right now. I have to go steal this shirt real quick. Hey, don't worry. Don't be worrying while I look like I'm pregnant. You just don't worry about that, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Look at what I got. Bag of goodies, a few new reels for my limit rods. Yep. This is Mr. Matt. Matt works behind the counter here at Limit Fishing Headquarters. So how to the people. Hey, guys. How are y'all? Matt gets a little bit nervous. We He's got nervous. He's camera loose. shy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to let him get loose. We're going to let him get loose. We're going to break him in, right? Break him in, right? Hey.
Adam, thank Brother, you I so much. You, appreciate thank it. Thank you for coming up, and I look forward to working with you in 2018. And, uh, so looking, looking forward to it. Do it big, buddy. Yep. Go Matt's going to meet you, brother. Appreciate, appreciate everything. Appreciate you getting me fixed up on the reels. All right, guys. That's Limit World Headquarters. I'm about to head back to the great state, and we will see y'all soon. We don't see much of this in Texas. This is somewhere between Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and going up towards the Western Arkansas, Eastern Oklahoma line. It is like mini Colorado, absolutely one of the most gorgeous places I've ever seen on the face of this earth. Incredible views, incredible drive down a super windy road. This has made this trip phenomenal to me. It's awesome, I just had to show you guys. Hopefully that plays on camera well, but. Man, what a view. Back to the great state. Back to God's house, boys. And there we are. Gotta check on my baby. Make sure my girl's doing alright. Let's see how she's doing. Nice. There she is. I told my wife back when I first got my first big fancy glass boat like this that if the boat could cook and clean, she'd be out of a job. Don't ever tell your wife that. It was a bad, bad decision on my part, so. Back home in the U Lake Fort Guide garage, back at YL, we went from Lemon headquarters to YLFG headquarters. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I uh, hope you guys are excited as I am for next year. 2018 is gonna be phenomenal. We got about three weeks left in 2017. We ain't gonna let that go by the wayside. We're gonna try and get some big fish on camera for you over the next couple weeks. And we'll be coming up with our live streams every week like we always do to keep helping you guys catch as many fish as possible and loving on our fellow man because that's what we do. So leave us a comment below. Let us know if you like this kind of video. It was definitely a different type of video for us. Um, no fishing in it. So, so let me know what you think. You know, it, it's part of the journey. And that's what I want to do. As we get into 2018, I want to take you guys more involved, more in depth into the journey of the week to week doings of a guy that fishes every day for a living. So I'm going to bring you guys along with more stuff like that. Get the family on here a little bit more. Let y'all get to know them a little better. Because, man, I got some awesome kids and wife that support me. And allow me to do all this and bring all this content to you guys. And chase this dream that is bass fishing for a living. And there's nothing that I can say that would express how much it means to me that I get to do that. So uh, we're going to take you guys along. Let me know what you thought of this type of video. Like I said in the comments below. And other than that, we'll see you guys next time right here on your Lake Fort Guys.